I think that actually shows how much you can do in Unreal Engine without really having any prior knowledge. Super Mario 64, Pokemon Emerald, and Minecraft are some of my favorite games I've ever played. But what I always imagine being more fulfilling than just playing those games is creating one myself. At first I kind of just, I guess, dipped my toe into 3D graphics by learning Blender. But then Epic Games released this trailer. And I knew, now's the time to go deeper into it. I have used Unreal Engine before. I don't remember almost anything from that. Have I clicked it? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, there it is. One thing I actually remember is how long it actually takes to, to load up. It's quite different with Blender where you can just open it up within like a few seconds. I guess blank would be the best one just to kind of uh, begin. Project name? Yes. Okay, there you go. They, oh, okay. <laughs> so my instincts kicked in right away. I used right click um, to rotate and I used WASD to move, which is of course different than in Blender. In Blender, you need to use the mouse for, for everything. Here are all the things in the world. We have the skybox. That's the sunlight, atmospheric fog, starter background, Q, whatever that means. So first thing first, what I want to try is how you move these things. There it is. Ah, W, Ooh. rotate, zip, and scale. Ooh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, we have a few viewport settings, I guess, as well. You can go from the default pleb viewport to the Chad cinematic viewport. I want to import a new object. How do I do that? Uh, shapes, cube, easy, perfect. I'm feeling right at home. What else do we have here? Ooh, okay. Okay, see that, look at that. Are there some settings down here? Perfect. Quite intuitive, I must say. <laughs> Maybe also because I'm used to uh, using Blender. Cone, there it is. Look at that. So we can already light our scene. Volumes, oh, what I remember from volumes in Blender are creating like a fog cube, for example. Uh, these ones seem to be a little different. Kill volume, physics volume. So I guess these are more to control the world around the player. What a, what a blueprints. This looks very similar to Blender's node system. Different nodes you can use to do different things. Here you can, I guess, uh, script explosions. Empty actor, empty character, empty pawn. I wonder what happens if we just hit play. We have this actor now. I don't know if the actor gives me the ability to play. Oh, wait. Easy. We already have a working god mode game, I guess. <laughs> so we're already way further than I expected. I want to go into first person. My project, no. Look at that. Can we shoot? Okay, that's quite loud. <laughs> so with just one click on the right preset, we already have a running first person game. Let's create a quick jump and run world. First thing first, do we need these blocks? We do not. There you go. We have a platform. How about we add a cube? There you go. So we have the first jump of our jumping puzzle. Yep, easy. So that's the first jump of our jumping puzzle. We're going to build a quick level and then we're going to try it, okay? Control D. Perfect. Control D. Perfect. We need to go high. Um, that's probably too high. Zip. Okay, okay. Duplicate it again. There we go. Let's change a few things. How about a cone? Down. Another cone. Pillar. Oh, okay. A uh, pipe. Let's scale it up. So many settings. Um, Oh, bring this down. Nope. Dude, is it too hard? Okay, that should be easier. Maybe I'm not, I'm not as good as I thought in jump runs, okay? <laughs> I'm failing my own world. Yes. Yep. See, now this one's easy. Just changing one asset, changing this one thing, and look at that. Easy peasy. Okay, before I go into the actual big project, there's one more thing that I want to try. I want to see how you actually import stuff into into Unreal Engine. I guess I need to select everything, maybe. Uh, file, export, FBX, I think might be pretty good. I think with FBX, um, the textures and all that are included as well. Path mode, auto, yeah, looks pretty good. I include selected objects. Transform scale, yes. Apply scaling, all local. Uh, yeah. Let's just see what happens if I if I do that now. Custom models. There you go. Export. There it is. It immediately gave me the object that I imported into that file. So now if I say import all. Oh, no smoothing group information was found on this FBX team. Please make sure to enable export settings. Why is it not in the... Uh, what if I just drag that in here? That doesn't work. How do I import things? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, oh, hold on. Open asset. Emotions. There it is. So if I now just grab this. Oh, there's the model. Is it in the scene? No. Content drawer, custom models. So now if I put that in there, ha ha ha. So you need to use the content drawer. 
So that's how you can import models into the scene. One more question that I would have is how you could import animations and all that, but I probably want to do that in another project. If you want to see that, maybe it's already out, then you can check that out on my channel as well. If not, then make sure to subscribe, okay? So now that we kind of have all the basic knowledge that we need to create a world, let's actually create a world. What I want to do is I want to recreate um, a level, I guess, or an environment in um, from destiny of the game the one that i want to recreate is the farm there are a few houses here there are you know a little bit of nature a little bit of trees and i'll see how well i can recreate the farm in unreal engine with almost no experience <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how, how well that turns out. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's what you thought. Of course, there had to be one problem that would rob me of my time, okay? So I wanted to use the plugin Quixel Bridge, which lets you basically draw from a collection of 3D scanned assets so you can use them in your own project for free. The problem is I typed in the wrong email address, so I wanted to re-log with my other email address, but it didn't work. You know, I tried everything. Signing in, signing out multiple times. I tried restarting Unreal Engine. I tried reinstalling, which took a whole three hours, if I remember correctly still didn't work so i just gave up and used that email address it didn't really change anything but it's kind of annoying to now have the wrong email address i guess <laughs> in that plugin so that was i guess the one big problem that i ran into otherwise everything ran quite well let's actually get into the final project I was actually very surprised how intuitive unreal engine actually was compared to i guess blender the overlay at least is very similar. I wasn't really necessarily searching for a lot because I kind of knew where everything was from Blender and I just kind of, I guess, transferred that over to Unreal Engine. Oh, if I need some sort of properties, let's see if it's in the same spot as Blender is. And it actually was. The actual workflow, especially here in the end, was very, very easy going. I was able to just create this floor very quickly, even though I didn't really know how the landscaping and sort of fauna and flora tools work. I just went into it, kind of played around with it. And I was able to quickly create a, an environment very, very quickly. Of course, the assets for the buildings I just used, um, I just grabbed from Quixel Bridge. And uh, I was able to create this environment actually very, very quickly and very, very easily. I was surprised how much I could do in these three hours. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to look like the, you know, the, the, the in-game, I guess, version. Um, but as you can see here, I think even, even though I was only working on it for three hours without any experience, I think that actually shows how how much you can do in unreal engine without really having any prior knowledge you can see what it would look like with the actual in-game skybox and um, and i think i'm actually quite happy with the final version i plan on doing more with unreal engine in the near future so if you want to see that make sure to subscribe there are two more videos here which might sound interesting to you thank you for watching maybe i'll see you next time see ya